It's the same shit every day, and I tell ya, it's fucking diarrhea. Every football game, it's the national anthem. Back in school, it was the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm sick and tired of bowing and cowing to the king. King, president, I don't care what they call him. Guy lives in a big white castle and he's not making cheeseburgers. In fact, the only cheddar he's making is off my tax dollars. And I tell you, it's making me sick and tired. And when baby's sick and tired, you don't tell the baby tough titties. You give him the titty, and you get off your ass, and you find that baby some medicine, baby. I had to find mine myself. I was watching football with my mommy, and when everyone else started singing the national anthem, I put my fingies in my ears and started singing David Byrne burning down the house. My mama asked me when I was gonna move out of hers, and I got to thinking that ain't such a bad idea. Not moving out, but burning down the house. Burning down the big white castle. The fucking national anthem has been burned into my head since school, since before I even started watching football. I figured it was about time I gave the republic for which this song stands a taste of its own fucking medicine. So, I await in the night. I crept out the back fire escape because there were reporters at our front door because mama's a senator like everyone else in this town who's not a reporter. And I crept up to the White House. No one saw me because everyone was busy watching football. I walked past a bunch of framed pictures of George Washington and others. And I walked past the cabinets where every first lady since Elizabeth Monroe has kept their fine china. More like just fine china. It was mostly all the same shit, but it wasn't exactly diarrhea. I'll tell you, I kinda admired the opulence. And I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I liked Barbara Bush's the best. In fact, I got so embarrassed that I kicked her cabinet to the ground and I set the old ass thermostat to 365 degrees and I started burning down the people's house. Framed pictures of George Washington and others started bursting in air like a rocket's red glare. Everything started sticking together, but everyone was watching football, so no one came to help. So, I decided to save the president's life It was harder than I expected to pull him away from his TV set, but what do you expect? Still, before it was too late, he recognized me as my mommy's son and allowed me to carry him to the Rose Garden to admire the fire. So I joked with the president. It's the Grey Castle now. The president said, what? So I joked with the president. It's not the White Castle anymore, It's it's the Ash Grey Castle now. He said, it's not the White Castle, it's the White House. And I said, not anymore. And it wasn't. House, castle, I don't care what they call it. I burned that shit to the brown ground. The president was crying so hard that I had to joke with him. If you're gonna keep acting like a baby, I'll have to give you the tit. But then I stopped being tough at the twilight's last gleaming, when the people's house was fully burned asunder. And there were no pictures of Washington and there were no declarations of anything. And everything was stuck together. Except for the American flag from the Oval Office. Its stripes were still streaming. Galleon as shit. I thought to myself, that actually is nice. And I allowed myself to joke aloud about how my faith in America was restored. But it actually kind of was. The police took it easy on me. They sometimes throw a suspect in the can and leave him there all night, but everyone knows my mama because everyone in this town knows everyone. I was strange, but not a stranger. The reporters were a little more thorough, but they were just doing their jobs. And besides, their questions helped me find a lot of answers. I realized that my whole White House thing was more about self-destruction than anything else. I was unhappy. I was in the wrong city. I hate all the cities where people do something. 
In LA, they do movies. In San Fran, they do tech. And here in DC, all they do is politics. And all anyone talks about in any one of those cities is the one thing they all do. It's enough to make you sick. And Baby was sick. Mama told me sunshine is the best medicine. I joked with her. I thought that was laughter. Then we agreed that I should move to Los Angeles because it never rains and the people are a joke. I will admit, I had a laugh there. For a time. My mama got me a job as a producer like everyone else in town. I made a bunch of pictures like Black Panther and others. Now all anyone wants to talk to me about is that. It's the same shit every day. They've got two NFL teams in Los Angeles. And no one likes to talk about football. The other day, I was talking to the greatest director of all time and all he could talk about was some new movie he wanted to make about my life. Tough titties, I joked with him. Then I put my fingies in my ear, and I started singing, David. <laughs>